Hello, this is Robert McKim, evangelist of uh, my ministry, which is the McKim Beacon Light Ministry and Soul Clinic, and also the founder and president of the Community Awareness Emergency Response Security Radio Patrol nonprofit organization. I've been receiving emails from somebody that's been using Renee's first name and my last name in a Proton Mail uh, email account. And I had tried to, at one point in time, get that email account closed but because that uh, email company is in Switzerland they said they basically don't have to listen to the United States unless maybe the State Department puts some pressure on them maybe but um, there again maybe I received Four emails in total so far from this person uh, recently since the 15th. The 15th of uh, July. Basically saying that they're going to hack into the uh, Carroll County website. Use my uh, IP address and uh, get me in trouble with the Carroll County Sheriff's Department and the FBI. And um, now, recently, I re uh, also received. Um, They're claiming that Renee is dead too as well in this one right here. And uh, then I'm hiding her corpse. Getting her welfare payments. And they said they're glad that they caused uh, some problems with my stimulus. But they really only knew the whole truth. The truth would set them free, but they don't want to be free. Just like they, just like reason that 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 night, that seventeen-year-old, seventeen-year-old from Florida that hacked into the Twitter accounts of government officials. It's gonna be tried as an adult. He thinks as you know what doesn't stink but does. And so don't the hackers that uh, has been hacking into Carroll County as well. And then uh, they sent me emails talking about supposedly I'm wasting Carroll County's money. And they were talking about they sent me the the photo of uh, the newspaper here well I glanced to the newspaper when I got in the mail because they're sending it free in the mail right now for several weeks so people can get used to of the new layout of the paper uh, it's, it's changed because the um, Harrison County Bargain Hunter. Why well, there's Harrison County Bargain Hunter and Tuscarawas County Bargain Hunter. The Bargain Hunter bought recently bought the uh, the Free Press Standard. And right on page eight, 
of the Free Press Standard. There's a story here. Page 8. Story right here that says Kern County have email troubles. And it says right there, it says that uh, there, there were fake emails. So then now we're going to be looking for another uh, service provider. But excuse me, back in September of uh, September. Actually, September the 24th of last year 2019 these people were able they were able to hack into the Carroll County website and use the email address for the Carroll County Transit Service Director to send me a nasty email and a couple other emails again warning me that they're in the Carroll County website of course at that time you know I hope she did contacted the Sheriff's Department about uh, someone hacking into her email account because I told her to I even contacted the county uh, uh, commissioners and I told them what was going on. And they said they wouldn't have their IT department, you know, to look into it. But I warned them, I warned them, I warned them, I warned them, and I warned them many times over. But it's like it's falling on deaf and dumb ears. Why? Because I don't know. Honestly, and I would like to know why they don't want to listen. That I'm receiving all these emails from the hackers saying what they're trying to do to get me in trouble with both the Carroll County Sheriff's Department and the FBI Cyber Crimes Department in order for me to get off the internet because they hate my guts they hate my ministry and they hate my nonprofit organization they are so full of, of hate and blinded by their hatred towards little old me who's not really doing them any harm whatsoever except for telling the truth and that's the whole problem Satan hates the truth that's right even though I'm on my radio patrol site I'm also still a preacher I'm not a pastor I don't have a church I don't have a congregation I might have followers but that they are not a congregation a congregation is people that meet in one particular place to worship that's a congregation people that follow your uh, social media is not a congregation they're just followers so that doesn't make me a pastor it's like the great Billy Graham he was an evangelist TV evangelist not always on you know TV every day but when he had his crusade cru crusades but did that make him a pastor 
Yeah, he did um, preach in some churches before he um, evangelized. Did that make him a pastor? Take a special special breed of a minister to become a pastor. To have to, uh, you know, be uh, head over one church and one church body. But what I'm trying to get across is I've warned these people I don't know how many times. But it like it just falls on deaf ears. Deaf and dumb ears and they act like they don't want to come and get my emails that I've been copying off for them to come and get them. So they can have them in their records. And so that the prosecutor can read what's going on. But, you know, there's been a lot of things here lately, a lot of controversy about law enforcement. And yeah, there are a lot of bad apples, just like there are a lot of good apples. And I hope some of the good apples will see this video and see what is see the big picture of what is really going on. And hopefully can do something. Well I need to get off here because Renee hasn't been feeling well. Got to keep an eye on her. Called her doc, uh, heart doctor a little while ago, and they called, told me to put her back on her other medication. So I'll be doing that later. She's laying down, resting right now. Just to let you know. Oh yeah, something else. I don't want to brag, you know, on my good deeds. But yesterday while I was at Baker's IJ in Sugar Creek, Ohio. Doing some grocery shopping over there. Got a couple stores I go to over that way to get some things that you can't get anywhere else. I stopped in there and right there in the aisle where the um, product that I was looking for, I looked down on the floor and, and rolled up, crumbled up, I thought was a, I thought was a dollar bill. There was this guy in a cart with a, a child in the cart and then this other like a teenage girl skipping around I thought maybe she lost it so I asked them if uh, they had lost it and he looked and he said no I got all my money and I asked, this, uh, asked that girl if she had any money and she said no and I uh, took it to the front counter uh, as I was checking out and gave it to him. But you know what it was? It wasn't a, a one dollar bill. It was a ten dollar bill. So I've been mean enough and kept it. I'm not that mean and greedy 
like some people think I am. I turned it into the office there at the store. So if nobody comes back in to claim it, you know, I guess the store is ten dollars richer. And there's been there's some other things too that happened yesterday as well. Because of my good deed. Someone did a good deed for me too as well. So you know what? Good deeds come back around to you. Just another thought. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's what God's word says. You want to be mean, cruel, and nasty to somebody is going to come back to you. The same way. You want to be nice to somebody is going to be it's going to come back to you the same way. Think about it. Some people call it karma. I call it. God's nature. God bless you. Have a blessed day.